Gang, what's going on? Rob Corbett back with another homebrew video. Um, okay, so what we're doing here today is, uh, these are my uh, Mr. Beer Carbonation Drops. So what we're doing here, hopefully you can see this. Um, I'll bring some close-ups. We're, we're bottling um, a Mr. Beer Mexican Cerveza. I'll bring this up just in case you can't see it. I don't want to shake it around too much, get the sediment going, but it's a Mr. Beer. It's got a nice little spigot for bottling. You just put the bottle up under there and you, you flip it and off you go. Now, I'm actually using for bottles, I'm using these nice glass um, one liter deals. These are one liter. You got the nice flip top, which I really like, really easy to do. Um, what comes with the Mr. Beer is the plastic ones. Um, I do have some left over, but uh, I decided that this time around I'm going to use my glass ones, which I really like. Um, Mr. Beer here, Mexican Cerveza, has been sitting in this fermenter, which is a neat little thing. It doesn't hold as much as the, the other major fermenters. Um, here, here's a major fermenter for those of you who don't know how to... Uh, um, I don't know much about homebrewing yet. This is the big one. Um, this will be 23 liters. This is the Cooper's DIY kit. Um, Mr. Beer, I think it makes good beer. Um, not as much, but uh, still enough to have a good time. Um, yeah, so it's been sitting there for three weeks. I'm going to put it in the bottles for at least um, two to three weeks. I'll leave it in a, uh, a room temperature dark place. And uh, then before I drink it, I'd at least put it in the fridge for two to three days. Um, get a nice uh, chill to it, get all the yeast and that to fall to the bottom. Um, so, what, instead of mixing sugar, Life's become so easy in homebrew these days since uh, years ago when I first did it. Um, we now have these carbonation drops um, that Mr. Beer and Coopers and the guys, a bunch of different companies have. Instead of having to mix your sugar, you just drop these in. It's supposed to be <clears throat> two drops per 750 milliliter, which that's a 750. Um, this is a liter, so I did a little looking online and they said two and a half would be fine. So that's what I'm doing, it's two and a half drops in there. Again, hopefully you can see this. If I pull this back a little bit, I'll see even a little more as far as getting the whole deal in here. Um, pretty easy stuff. Like I said, it's just a matter of, you want to tilt the bottle a bit, put the spigot right at the top, turn her on, and you're off to the races. Very exciting part of the video, watching... Uh, a beer bottle fill up. You can't even probably see it there. However, I'll just do this one bottle and then uh, and that'll be it. Because this is all there is to it. Um, really easy. A lot easier than having to get the uh, your great big uh, funnel out or something like that. Um, I usually go up to just you know just 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 up the neck a little bit. I don't really hear different people say different things, but a little more in there. I'm gonna leave some room, I guess. And then with these bottles, so I'll show you how high I go. That's, that's about what I did. Maybe, you know, some professional homebrew will come on here and comment that that's wrong. Um, however, it works for me. So I put that bad boy in there, flip those down, and there it is. One done piece of cake. That's what I got for you guys. Um, check back. I will be doing a taste test, and I guess what would that be? At least uh, three weeks from now, I'll be doing a taste test of the... Mexican cerveza might wait until it gets a little warmer around here because it's, it's like a Corona it's supposed to be um, We'll see how that goes. I have tried uh, uh, The last Mr. Beer I made was Pilsner. You can see the uh, if you look around on my YouTube channel You'll see the review of that taste test tasted pretty good um, And yeah, that's what I got guys. So check back three weeks. I do all kinds of uh, homebrewing videos I'm kind of ducking because I don't know if you can see me or not uh, but I do all kinds of homebrewing videos from time to time, so check back and uh, see you soon.